Hello, Liz here, and today we are going to be making art with our breath. So let's first talk a little bit about breathing, okay? There's different ways you can breathe, right? Sometimes you may not think about it, but you can breathe through your nose, or you could breathe through your mouth. And you could also slowly breathe or quickly breathe. So let's try doing some slow breaths together, okay? And let's do it first through our nose. Now out. This time I want you to feel your breath as it comes out. So let's slowly inhale. How did that feel? It's kind of soft, right? Let's try some fast breathing. So inhale through our nose quickly and then let it out quickly. Feels harsher, right? Very like intense that way. So with your breathing today, I want you to think about the ways you breathe because that's gonna be how you can change your results when you're painting. So for our breathing painting, or our breath painting, first I like to use a pan or a tray that has a lip. It just helps contain a little bit of mess. Then you're gonna need some liquid paint. You can use liquid watercolor. Definitely mix this with extra water if you use that. Food coloring, and if you don't have either of those, just plop. A marker, oh wow, you can see how much ink I got out of marker. Plop a marker in some water and there you have some liquid watercolor. Then you're also going to need some tubes or straws. Straws are what I really like to use this for, but if you don't have a straw laying around, if you can find a tube, you can use that. And then something to get the liquid paint into puddles. So I like using a Why am I afraid just blank? I like using this to get paint on my paper. Uh, okay, so I'm going to put some paint in here and then make a little puddle. But first, let's try breathing on it without using the straw and see what happens. Eh, not too exciting. Let's try using our breath with a straw. Ah, we have to quite a bit more that time. Put some in the middle now. So those are my quick breaths. What do you think will happen if I use a slow breath? Oh, then I have a little bit more control. So maybe I'll see if I can control a droplet. I'm gonna turn my tray. Gonna get some more paint on here. I'm gonna do a little puddle this time. <laughs> I like the quick breaths. And then if you put it right on a spot, let's see if I do it with an angle. You could really control where it goes. So I'm gonna use my eyedropper to get another color here. You can go back over places that you've already done. And you do wanna go a bit slowly, Whew. cause you are using your breath to do this. And you, if you're starting to feel a little lightheaded, it's time to take a little bit of a break. So I might wanna mix some colors. So I'm gonna try adding my yellowish color right here and get my puddle ready. And ooh, it's already mixed. What color we got there with blue and yellow? Green. I'm gonna try with my tube. 
Okay. <laughs> it makes cool sounds. Hello. But it's n it doesn't work as well. <sighs> Why do you think that is? I think it's because it's got too long of a distance to go. So instead, let's try a plastic straw. So you can just keep going with this for however long as you want. It does kind of force you to slow down a bit, which is nice because if you do it too much, like even though you get excited, your body kind of tells you to slow down. So I hope you had fun today. I definitely did. If you try this out at home, please share it with us at Chicago Children's Museum and we would love to share your work with other friends in our community. So remember, even though we're all still stuck at home, play never stops. <laughs> Thanks again.